right? And so we're trying to preserve the cells that make your insulin. A blood test. It's the first stage of a study that for participants with type 1 diabetes could be life changing. Gradually, bit by bit, we're getting closer to a cure. Doctors on research teams in Toronto and Vancouver have made a potential medical breakthrough. They're now studying how a drug used to treat other autoimmune diseases can help recently diagnosed type 1 diabetics. Early indicators show promising results of ustekinumab and its ability to prevent the body from destroying the beta cells that produce insulin. Not only can we preserve those beta cells, so that would mean, for instance, that they would only need perhaps a little bit of insulin, or perhaps even regenerate their, their cells so that they don't need insulin at all. That's the new reality for a Calgary paramedic who joined the trial after being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes last year at the age of 27. Which was a massive shock to my world, obviously not something I was expecting. After two doses of ustekinumab, he noticed his insulin needs dropped. And now, instead of taking insulin multiple times a day, one dose of the new drug every couple of months keeps his condition under control. It's almost like a new lease on life. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I feel like I kind of have control of my life again. After a successful trial, researchers now have the funding to start a study, but their participant requirements are specific. They need people aged 18 to 35 who have been diagnosed within the last 100 days. It's important we get them early on when they've still got those 2 billion uh, beta cells still around. The work excites researchers because they say protecting those cells brings us one step closer to a cure. Sarah Reed, Global News.